Okay, so this is something that's different. This is taped in there. This is an extra little short page that's taped in. It's got washi tape. And this is a cardstock that's covered with scrapbook paper. And these are two little tuck spots that have miscellaneous pieces of ephemera tucked in it. It's, you know, it's a flap. Okay. And here's another one, the exact same thing. They were just on opposite sides. It's just ephemera that's tucked in the little tuck spot made of scrap paper and scrap black cardstock. The back side has a pocket on it, and there's a little teeny card that has scraps on it. This is just butterfly washi tape I happen to have. And then I had some of that paper that said read, read, read all over it. And I just covered the back with it because when I was younger, these were called bookmarks more of my doodling that I did years and years ago. Uh, I, f I made sure that I had photographs of things and spares of stuff. And then this is just half a circle with leftover scraps. Again, just leftover scrapbook paper from other things in the book. This is also some of my doodling, the doodle hearts here. It's also some of my doodling from years ago. And it made a great pocket. This is a foreign direction sheet in about 15 or 20 different languages that I, I found that had white, it was white paper, not kind of brownish yellow sepia. So I went ahead and used this. This is scraps and this is called a button spot, I guess is what she calls it. I sewed it. Yes, I threaded a needle and hand sewed the button. I have lost my mind. So I sewed the button on there, glued it down. Then there's more lace here from this piece that was cut in half. And then it was sewn on and glued on. And then in the back is a scrap card with the piece that was punched out of another one that was the negative spot. These are just leftover strips. And it's just an empty card. I just love making these with the leftover scraps. I think it was a lot of fun, but I don't have a lot of stuff like that. This one is an envelope made from scrapbook paper. Then it has a card inside it that has a cluster on the side with a little number off. I cut off of a ticket and that's got glossy accents on it. Nothing on the back, but I went ahead and stamped lines on it to kind of make it look like a postcard, even though it was in an envelope. Then there was a, um, a little cluster here that has a fake envelope on it. I made lots of these. I saw oh, who did this on somebody did this on YouTube recently and I was, oh, was it Gail? I think it was Gail who did the little fake envelopes. I thought it was such a great idea that I wanted to incorporate that in here with um, some scraps that are sewn. And then this is just a little card with more scraps on it that are that are tucked in behind here and the little envelope is it basically works as a tuck spot. The other side has a journal card in the back. Tabs sewn on. These are rub-ons that I can't remember if I bought them or they were gifted to me but I found some butterflies on them. You know the ones that have the postage stuff on it. Well amongst all of that stuff there were some butterflies so I gingerly cut that out so I could use it. Worked great. Then the, the pocket is sewn on and inside the pocket, the this has got two, two pockets. I could have not glued the back on and just done the three sides but honestly it was just too much for me. Alright, this is packaging and I can't remember whose stuff it is but it's black and white and it's really good chipboard. Made a little book, used some washi tape for the binding. It's, oh, it's the punch that I bought on Amazon, the corner punch. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even cover it up, oops. All right, and there's just white paper in here for journaling. Yep, that's exactly what that is. Uh-oh. Then this is a scrap pad. All of this is scraps sewn. 
Then I had some scrap vellum and I stamped one of my little miniature stamps on here and then the rest is just white paper. And the back is some of that stuff that I sewed on. I'm making the use out of that black cardstock the best way I can. And that's just put in the pocket. So there's three different things here. Next is a saying that I don't know how I got this, but I really liked it. Oh, wait. Did I forget this part? Yeah, I, did I forget it? Hmm. Okay, there's also a paper clip on here with a little bit of... Um, oh, shoot, what do they call this stuff? I can't remember at the moment. Anyway, so there's a little paper clip on there. This is a book. I learned how to do this from G. Kerr. You swing this down, and then you can open and close your book. This is, again, just white paper that's sewn and then glued here. But then this is done with washi tape on the side to make it look like it's a book, but really it's not. It's just a flap that's covering up a pad. And then on the pad, glued some more scrapbook paper here, and it made a pocket to put a little tiny tag made out of yet more scrapbook paper. And then another one of these little fake envelopes. It's held on with one of those little Tim Holtz miniature paper clips. Okay, for me, this is the worst put together page, not because of the things that go on it, but because of the scrapbook paper that I chose and the elements are not gelling for me. Um, this is very busy. And I think the next book that I make, I will make sure that stuff is a little more cohesive. First of all, there's a pocket here. And this pocket is made from some of the scraps that are glued and then sewn together. This is a little book. And inside, there's another little pad that's sewn at the top. There's a pocket on the other side made of the scraps that are sewn together. Then there's a tag made out of some old doodles. And there's that black sewing paper. And you can tell the tension's really terrible. Then a paper clip with some lace and another little tag attached to it. That goes in the back. Then there is one of those little fold downs it says to do on it. I call these fake envelopes. And then a little bit of lace for my friend on a paper clip. She sent me the lace and the paper clip. And this is a belly band in the middle on top of the pocket. And then this is just attached. And then watch me not be able to get on air. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to do it like that. And then this is one of those circle flowers. This is leftover doily. This is cut out of the scrapbook paper. That's it. That's a lot. And it just doesn't have the cohesiveness on it I would like. This page, though, I, after looking at the other one, I made sure these two were a little more cohesive, although it's a little shaky on this side. This is a four-pocket square. Um, and then each little square has something in it. This is stamped, just mounted on black cardstock. This is all done with scrapbook paper that I have. This is just another stamp that was stamped on white paper and backed with black cardstock and then a little glossy accent in the middle. This is a little flower from a set that I have. There's a large one that looks like this, but I just thought this was so cute. And this is the belly band that goes with it. I hope it's not sticky. Uh, okay. And then this is just, you know, an accordion piece of paper. And then it's just put back inside here. And um, I only put glossy accent on the, on the inside of the flower. When you put the belly band on here, you make sure that this 
catches on there so that your stuff doesn't bebop around. And this is just a ticket that I was gifted the stamp set and I stamped it on white paper, put glossy accents on it, and just glued it in the corner. And then I sewed around all of this on the outside. Yes, that swear word, sew. All right, and this is a, I don't, can't remember what she called this, but these are, oh, I can't remember. There's some kind of pockets where you fold them and then you fold one one way, one the other, and then you just put them together and they make this look here. But when you do it, you only glue around three sides of it because that gives you a place for a pocket inside here. Then there's another pocket that was made with scrapbook paper that has a tag in it. And then underneath that is another pocket with a little scrapbook, I mean a little pad. And yes, it's sewn at the top. I want to make sure I repeated the red from one page to the other. I noticed I wasn't doing that in the past, so. Then you can tuck stuff in each side of this. This is part of that stamp set from where this flower came, and I colored it with a um, watercolor brush pen, and then I did the glossy accents in the middle. Well, there's that. And then the tab is some of that paper that was all sewn together that had strips, and then that was made that way and glued onto the page on the other side. This is her frame where Cory does takes all her scraps and puts it under sheet protector and makes it look like you know you're looking at something that's framed under glass. This is just some random picture that I had in the um, in the image box that I keep and I took the little scraps, made sure they were cut squares and rectangles and glued the photo, or glued the image onto the paper itself. Then I pieced all this together with glue and then glued that on top of the paper. There's one thing I forgot to do. Corey had hers sewn, and after I had already let it sit for an hour, I decided I am not ripping this page out. Start all over. I think it would look better if it was sewn. Oh my gosh, I should bite my tongue. I can't believe I said that. Um, I think it would have looked a lot better. A little more interest to it if I had sewn around the outside edges. Que sera. This page is just a corner tuck spot and it's a double. I'll show you in a second. So one side has, let me take this off. One side has the large check and there's just a blank journal card and it's just tucked under there. And this is just slipped on the page. So it's scrapbook paper that ha was two-sided and there's a small check on one side, large check on the other. This just fits over this, and the way you keep it in place, let me see, this is not gonna go on there because I have other stuff. Let me put this, there we go. The way you keep it on there is to have something with a paper clip on it, which is a little small tag, and you put the paper clip on it, and it, it's pretty good about m making sure this doesn't come out. All right, the other side, the small check, has a scrap card on the other side. Oh look, sewing. <laughs> this is vellum where I stamped um, a stamp I had. These are scraps from all the stuff that I've been doing. And this just tucks underneath there. And surprisingly enough, the back side of that little paper clip holds it really, really well. All right, this one is a belly band. This one's got like lots of moving parts. Okay, so the first part is there's a belly band that has a tag in a pocket. Then it has some stamped frame image on it that's glued onto the front of the pocket. Then you open the belly band and inside is one of those stamp pockets, but this one's a really long one with no sections. And I just took some of those tickets that I had stamped on white cardstock, put them in here. I had an image. I was afraid I wasn't gonna use this because I made it and it didn't fit where I wanted it to. Um, this is a die cut, and then the image, and then the the, uh, the words I think are Tim Holtz words. And then I used some of that stamped, fake-looking text. I had ripped it up, and I used that in the back. I wanted this to go in there because I was so afraid I wasn't going to use it up, and it wouldn't fit somewhere else. Then 
there's paper sewn with zigzag stitch, just strips of paper, and I stamped them all front and back. But wait, there's more. Then, underneath the belly band, is a double envelope, which I thought was so cool. This is made with the envelope board, and it's scrap of paper, and I used vellum. I think um, Cora used tracing paper that she had coffee dyed. So you take your, um, I used my uh, envelope board, stamp board from We Are Memory Keepers and picked out a size that I thought would be small enough to stick underneath the belly band here. And I cut one of the scrapbook paper, then I cut the vellum. Well, that was a trick. And then when it's all spread out, unfolded, you sew along the seams where you creased it to make the envelope and it gives it that look like this all the way around it. I thought it looks so cool. And then I happen to have something in the ephemera, my little ephemera package that was part of a stamp set and I stamped it on white cardstock. Then I had another stamp set that had a cancellation stamp from Paris and stamped that over it. This is supposed to be a postcard stamp, but I didn't care, I put that on there. And then I fake wrote somebody's name with somebody's address and no, that's not where I live but I thought it was rather cool. It's a little hard, you know, to hold the stuff together, but I like the way it turned out. I think it turned out really great. And then it just goes under the belly band. Isn't that cool? There's a lot going on on this page. And it looks like it's a little more cohesive than, you know, the harem scarum page. <laughs> All right, let's see, we're almost done. Yay! All right, this page is the, what I think what she calls it, the stacked pockets. All right, let's see if I can go over this. The bottom one, no, let's start from, yeah, let's do the bottom one. The bottom one is sewn on to, is glued onto other papers. This is not all sewn together. Each individual pocket was sewn and then glued on top of the other one. I'm not that crazy, okay? This is just a little tag from a stamp that was gifted to me. Then, this is glued on top of this one. And again, it has another little tag or card, journal card, whatever you want to call them. Then this one, this the third pocket has a tag in it. And this one's a tight fit. And I covered the back of that because I had enough paper, Lord knows. And then you don't glue, you know, the, the whole thing on. You just go the outer edges of it. And then there's another little card. And I covered that in black cardstock that goes inside here. So there are four different things going on on this one page alone, which I thought was really incredible. Let me turn this around. I didn't decorate this, believe me. I was running out of steam when I got to this point. Then this one is very simple. It's just, now she did a library card. I don't have library cards, so I took scrap cardstock that I had, and I made one of her little window type things from an image that somebody's quilling on here, and it had the word sunflower underneath it, so I took it, sewed it together, and look, I forgot to cover up the back. Oops. And it's just slit, slid in the pocket. That's it. Ta-da. All right. This is the belly band that has a tag in it that's decorated on the front and the back. Then this one is an, um, a paper clip. Come on, slide in there. That has a pocket. Where's the stuff that goes in it? Oh, I didn't put anything in it, but there's a pocket for the paper clip. Oh. I can't believe I didn't put something in it. Oh, my word. This is a... This one's a little tricky. It's a 5-inch by 6-inch piece of... I used a double-sided piece of cardstock. And you bring the corners together. And then you glue down the parts that you did not fold. Which means you glue this here. And then you glue this here because you'll get a pocket under here, which is why that stuck in there to remind me. There's a pocket there, 
there's a tag, little teeny tag that'll fit in there. And you can't make them very deep because, you know, this is shallow. So I use little tiny tags to go in there. Then there is a belly band that goes across, and I glued this on there. It's just a card with a um, flower on it. And then there's another tuck spot in here. And then again, you have more under here, and you can fill it up to the brim. I this I finished this today, this the last three or four pages, and I probably left a few things out that Corey did that I was like, you know what, I am not doing this. <laughs> And here's a back to my a note to myself that I finished this on July the 18th. Took two full weeks working on it. Eight hours or more a day. And then I made this little library card thing. And I thought, I am not wasting this because I spent all this time. And I glued it in the back. And yes, there is a pocket there. And that, my friends, is a finished idea book a la Cory Dahman. <laughs> I am so excited this is finished, and I would really be very, very excited this is finished, except for one thing. I have already started another one. Actually, I started this one first, and I'm not going to show you all of it, because I'll come back when it's finished, and I'll show it to you. Same type thing with the three-piece cover that you know it moves it's great and if that wasn't enough there's a third one <laughs> this one has um i had to since i didn't have a lot of double-sided 12 by 12 cardstock she used six by six a lot of six by six tim holt stuff which i don't own so I cut down 6x6 six six cardstock. My measurements weren't perfect, but you know what? I don't care. And then I glued two pages together to make... Oh, that's upside down! No! Ah. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Maybe this is the back. Oh, it is. <laughs> I was so careful not to glue it upside down. Oh, I was about to have a heart attack. Okay, this is the front. <laughs> this is the front. Everything's upside down. Okay. Ooh, I was going to start crying. So everything's upright. <laughs> if you notice, a lot of this cardstock is like one sheet that got cut into four sections, and I was not wasting it. So anyway, all these things are sewn in there. Oh, see? Sewing. Ugh! So, I am not in any hurry to finish the other two books. Because kind of over my desk looked like an explosion happened here. So, I, I will do these when I feel like it. This one's about, I think this one is almost halfway finished. And then this one I haven't even done anything to. Because I'm considering not doing it the same way the other ones will be done. But this one will be done the same as this one. And as you can see, I have a ways to go because this thing is not as fat as the other one is. Look at that. There you go. All right. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. I know it was long, but this is short compared to the two and a half, possibly three weeks it took me to work on this. I didn't do anything else but work on this. Oh, yeah, and I finished my, I think I finished my ATCs while this was going on. And I'm still working on iCADs while this is going on. I had to hurry up and do my iCADs, and then I'd work on this. And then I'd get behind on my iCADs, and I'd make some of those while I was still working on this. And I did do some of my iCADs. Um, I did put some of my iCADs in here because it just it would be silly for me not to do that. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. Go by and check out Corey's series. Um... She is phenomenal. She uses every scrap you can imagine to make her books. And she's going to sell them on Etsy. So, if you're thinking you would like to buy one of her books, I'm, I'm quite sure it's not going to be inexpensive. But I have to tell you, after spending two weeks, night and day, and in the middle of 3 a.m. when I couldn't sleep, I'd get up and make a page. Um... 
I worked on this religiously for two weeks or more. So if you're wanting to buy one of hers, take into consideration how much work really goes into this because each one of these pages has a different kind of component on it. And believe you me, it takes an awful lot, especially if you're a person who doesn't like to sew. Hello, I don't like to sew. So, uh, you know, check out her Etsy store. Check out her um, her channel if you like this kind of stuff, junk journal type, type stuff. She has finished the series now, and she's moved on to something else. And I have not watched the video for the new thing because I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm really afraid. So I will not be doing the next series because I have other things here that need to get finished. All right, everybody, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.